Hello, welcome to this section in the Chemistry Tutor. Here we're going to work problems that deal with Boyle's Law. The first problem says a helium sample is 521 milliliters at 1,752 torr pressure. At a constant temperature, what will the helium volume be at 752 torr? That's part A. And then part B says repeat the calculation if P2, the final pressure, is 3.55 atmospheres. So for now, let's just forget about part B, let's work on point A. We have a helium sample, we know its volume, 521 milliliters, we know its pressure, 1,752 torr, okay? We know the temperature's constant. What will the volume of the helium be at a new pressure, 752 torr? So you know this deals with pressure and volume, so just first of all, do yourself a favor and write down Boyle's Law. So P1 times V1 is, P, is equal to P2 times V2, going from state one to state two. Now there's many, many ways for you to get used to writing all this stuff down yourself, but I recommend that you um, kind of get in the habit of doing things the same way. So what I do is I write down for myself, I say, I write down all the variables. P1 is the initial state. The initial pressure is 752 torr, okay? And it also says the, the volume, V1, is 521 milliliters, so I'm going to write that down. And then we also know the final pressure, we know P2 is 752 torr. And what I do is I say, well, I know this and this and this, and then it's asking what is the volume, V2, and I just put a little question mark. So this reminds me at a glance, everything I know, and it also reminds me of what I don't know. So now that I can look at what I know and I look at Boyle's Law, I can see that I know this is, I know what this is, and I know what this is, so I can easily solve uh, for this using algebra. Also, you need to look at your units. Make sure you're being consistent. I told you, you can use whatever units you want for pressure and volume in Boyle's Law as long as you're consistent. So your initial pressure is in torr, your final pressure is in torr, your initial volume is in milliliters, your final volume, what do you think you're, you're going to calculate? When you get the answer, it's going to be in milliliters. So you just need to know that based on the other units that you have. So you just simply plug straight into Boyle's Law here. So you go here, and say, all right, P1 is 752, V1 is 521, equals P2 is 752, and V2, you don't know what it is, so you just leave it here. All right, now when you take this number and multiply by this number, you get a large number, 912792 on the left, and you still get 752 times V2 over here. And then, to get V2 by itself, you just divide by 752. So V2 is this large number divided by 752. You get 